Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. Ready to film? Yeah, come on. Hey, welcome back to After the Episode. I'm Ty, and this is Teresa. Oh, good. You got my name right. Yeah, I do. Tom, Tom. Tom, Tom. We're going to be talking about the Thursday episode, which was... This is after the episode for when Ty gets nailed by a gaff top. Whack. Yeah. That hurt. I mentioned in the in the in the episode if you knew a way to stop that pain of a catfish sting, uh, to comment below. So in this video, if you know how to stop the pain, please comment below because I just had to write it out. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody comment that you squirt some of that antibacterial stuff on there and it stops it pretty quick. A lot of people say if you wipe the slime. I've heard that. On there. A lot of people say it doesn't work though. Mm. Some people say it works. Also, I heard say you it pee doesn't. on it. That's jellyfish. I recommended I pee on it and he said no. It's just insult to injury. That's jellyfish. <laughs> anyway, that hurt. It, it stabbed me like, I guess in between these fingers, maybe it was on this hand. There's the scar. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it, it just kind of went to the bone. So it got a good stab and then it, then the pain started coming on. And man, it was yeah, tough. Yeah, what he didn't film was he was shaking. <laughs> yeah, it took like a half an hour, 45 minutes for it to wear off. And then I was good. Yeah. It was back to fishing. Yes. I just trolled until the pain went away. What were you trolling? What did you nail them on? Well, I nailed them on this Berkley Cutter 110. It's a Cutter 110 freshwater bass bait. It's a suspension bait. I use them all the time. I use the Cutter 90s to troll behind me, but that day I think we both were doing the 110. It's uh, got three hooks. Boy, you nailed the... They kept the hard heads and everything kept nailing that, that Cutter 110. Um, but it does catch a lot of stuff. It does. I've caught trout on it. Yeah, trolling exact spot back and forth where we were, I've caught trout on that. Um, the little Yozuri there, that's the one Palm Beach Pete gave me after I caught my tarpon on it. I troll that one too because Pete said uh, give it a try and stuff whacks it left and right. And it does. That's what I caught the bluefish on. But I wasn't trolling that one. I was just uh, casting it out. I had a cutter 90 behind me um i'm stuck i can't get out uh the reel i was using was uh the abu revo inshore this guy right here but if y'all can see you, they can't hear you from off. over there oh well, yeah yeah i'll tell you a second and i was using it on the mccain i've got a different i've got a different abu on here i was using it on this mccain broken back top waters and broken top back. top waters and broken backs I've got another abu on there right now, but somehow my, my little cap came off, man. If y'all know where to get these, comment below. I think you have to just send um, it back. I think it probably just send me the cap, you know? Yeah, we'll reach out to him. We'll reach out to Penn, but uh, I'm really abu. sad because that inshore reach series. Reach out to abu? We just have to abu. I get confused. We use a lot of pins and a lot of abus. Pins are gonna be like, I don't know why you're sending me this rig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been getting a lot of questions with each episode about how you rigged up. What what kind of braid were you using? What'd you tie to the braid? And um, what kind? Yeah. What size reel and rod combo? So I thought we'd touch on that uh, a lot on this episode. So we're using that blue stealth spider wire. It's on almost all of our reels or the yellow spider wire. So we just switch between the colors. And as far as pound test, general rule of thumb, inshore 15 pound test does it all. Offshore, 30. Yeah, tell them why. Because braid is like rope, so you can get away with using less. Yes, you can get away with less poundage. 15 pound test has a lot of strength to it. I caught that 40 pound jack on 15 pound test. I used to use 15 pound mono offshore before the braid days. Never any trouble as long as you don't have obstructions. Um, offshore, 30 pound has always done us right. So we tie usually this. And then we use two feet a liter. And that's the, the Stren 20 pound mono. This is very inexpensive at Walmart and I'll put it in the Amazon links. I'll list it below. He'll put it in the links below. And then that is the, floral. that's the fluorocarbon. Prospect. That's that Prospect fluoro. And what's the pound test on that one? 20. That's 20 pound test. We use a lot of 20 in short. Yeah. 
So that's the inshore, how we're rigging for inshore. Yeah, so in the bays and in freshwater and whatnot, we're using 15 pound test braid in general, and we're using 20, 25 pound test mono most of the time. If it's super clear, I mean super gin gin clear, then we'll switch over to 20 pound braid. Floral. Floral. <laughs> Sorry. Over fluorocarbon. There you go. If the water is super gin clear, but most of the time you can get, get by with just regular old mono. 20 pound test. Unless there's big bull reds around, then we'll switch to 40 pound test mono. All right, now that big speckle trout I caught. Well, was it blowing up before you caught that trout? I was catching was little up? ones. Yeah, were they were I got several it? blow ups. So what, what, what were you using there? I was using... The little she dog Mer or the Mer sheep Meridine she, she pup. So it wasn't the she dog? Mm -mm. And you can see I banged it all up. I used a lot. Yeah. I'll rattle. They're designed for high wind days. Rattle in them. Make a lot of, a lot of racket with those things. We usually throw the she dog and the she pup. Too. That big 25 inch trout I caught on this she pup. Oh, you did? Yep. This time you caught a 19. This time I caught a 19. Mm -hmm. but yeah, so the she pup always produces for us. Once again, I'll put it in the description below. We have our store, but then I have the stuff from this episode. It says gear from this episode. I, I list the stuff from the episode. So if you're interested in, in stuff we're using from this particular episode, you can grab it at Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we took a little uh, break on the beach. Got some breakfast, my mango, and what'd you have? Uh, probably a sandwich. Sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take a sandwich. And then we that's well, that. That's it. We off to Mississippi. Yep. Mississippi. Tourism. We're doing some stuff for the state. The visit, yeah. visit, Mississippi. Visit Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're going to be seeing some Mississippi country coming soon on 30 Miles Out. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tune in every Thursday for the 30 Mile Out episode and right here on Fridays for after the episode. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. What? We should shave your eyebrows right now on film. You should turn off the camera right now on film. <laughs> no, everybody wants to see me get you back. We should put your eyebrows on the spot. Yeah, whatever. Give me some duct tape. I'll just go. Whoosh, whoosh. Leave me alone and turn off the camera. She's a pain in my derriere. <laughs> <laughs>